Welcome, this is my latest video on my series on the FL Sun Q5 3D printer. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link in the description of that printer on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my FL Sun Q5 playlist where you can find my other 3D printing videos. So in this video, I wanted to talk about switching filament partway through a print. So this can allow you to have two color prints with a cheap printer like the FL Sun Q5. So I do want to say I'm not an expert at this. I'm still learning and I'm just sharing my experience up to this point. So I'll open up Cura. And I created a model. I'll open it up. It's a domino. And this is 48 by 24 by 6 millimeters. So I went with a domino because I felt it was an easy shape to make here. So for my settings here, I have the profile height is 0.2 millimeters. The infill is 10%. I have support and adhesion turned off. If I go to custom, I think the only thing custom I have on here is, well, I have the infill. And infill before walls is turned off. And then I also have a skirt for my base. I also have my retraction distance is 8 millimeters and the speed is 80. And then for build plate adhesion, I have skirt. And that just draws a line around the print. So I can slice this here. And it says it'll take 17 minutes to make this domino. It's going to cost 9 cents. If I go to preview here, we can see it has 29 layers. So I can scroll through those. So I'm not completely sure why this isn't 30 layers, because our layer height is 0.2 millimeters, and we have 6 millimeter height on here. So I would have thought it would be 30. It was 29, and I thought maybe it started at 0, but maybe I'm doing a calculation wrong in my head here. But say I want to split this in half, and I want the bottom to be black and the top to be white. So what I want to do is I've sliced it already. I know how many layers I have, and I also know the height of this. So I can use either one of those dimensions. I want to go to Extensions, and then Post Processing, and then Modify G-Code and then click on add a script, and then click on posit height. So the first option we have here is posit height or layer number. So as I was saying, I could posit say 15 or so, but I want to posit height and I'll say three millimeters. And now that I think about it, I'm not sure that's correct. I may need to posit four millimeters. I'll do that and we'll test it out because I think it pauses before the layer. So I want to have it pause before the four millimeter layer. And then for method, we want to choose BQM25, and I have no idea what that means. If someone knows what that means, I can drop a comment below, but that's the one I got working. Then we have the print head park X, print head park Y, and I just leave that as default. For retraction, I'll change this to 2.5. So what that will do is that will suck up the filament 2.5 millimeters. So once this is paused, I will be removing the filament, and then I will press some through to clear out the old filament. So this extrude amount, I'll leave at zero. And then standby temperature, I want to set this to 200, which is my printing temperature. I don't want the hot end to cool down while I'm paused. So now that I have everything correct here, I'll hit close. I'll slice that again. Then I'll hit save to file. And I'll save the G code out. Now I'm going to be using Octoprint. I haven't tried this without Octoprint. So I'm not sure how it would work if you put it on the micro SD card. I'll go down here to upload. I'll open up my G-code, and now that's ready to go. So I'll turn on my printer. I'll connect up to it. I'll click on temperature here. I'll start heating it up to 200 degrees Celsius and the bed to 60. And I have my camera set up here so I can watch it. And I've installed this layer height display on here. I don't know the exact name of the plugin. Let's see if I can easily find that. It's called Display Layer Progress Plugin. So that tells us what layer we're printing. So I thought that was kind of cool. It shows it here and then it also shows it here. And this says one of 28. So this doesn't say 29 like the previous one did. So I'm not sure what's up with that. So I'm going to prep the bed here with a little bit of glue stick. Okay, we're up to temperature, so I'll start my print.
Okay, so I think it printed more than half, so maybe I should have paused it at three instead of four. But you can see on the screen here, it says restart, zoom, and cancel down on the buttons here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back the lever on the extruder. I'll press a little bit of filament through and then yank it out of there. Now I have my next color ready, it's white. So I'm going to press that through, but I'll be putting a paper towel down under the nozzle to catch any filament that comes out. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the paper towel out and at the same time I'm going to wipe the nozzle and then I'll hit resume on Octoprint. Now it's going to resume printing. You can maybe see there's a tiny little blob there on the upper left corner that came out. So hopefully that kind of blends in, otherwise I might need to sand it off or something. Okay, I'm going to let that cool down, then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here's the completed print. You can see there's a little piece of filament that's stuck off here, so I can pull that off, and I could sand that too. Now, one issue I have with this is I was taking it off early, and it kind of split here. Let's see, on the other side, at the layers. I look, see, it came all the way off. So this is my third time trying this. The first time I did it, it's very solid here. So no problems there. I don't know if I didn't do it fast enough or something. Maybe I needed to switch it before the black cooled down. But this white also doesn't adhere super well sometimes. So that could be it. I also did one here. This is a mixture of clear and glow in the dark. And this is very solid too. So both of these are incredibly solid. I don't know why this one didn't adhere. So you can see the layer differences here. So I did it at four. I should have done it at three. I wasn't completely sure. I made these actually a couple weeks ago. Um, and then I'm just getting back into this to make my video. But if I measure this here, we're at four millimeters and this one is at two. So I did need to stop it at three. So yeah, that's kind of weird that that did not stay together, but it's cool. You can see the inside now. So that's my experience with switching filaments. And it's funny that my first two attempts were perfect and my third one failed. So that happens sometimes, but I'm always learning more stuff. So maybe if I wanted to try this again, I would up my filament temperature to say 205 or 210. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.